Good afternoon, morning, noonday, night. Hope everybody's doing well. Today's video, I'm doing a VOD review on a gold tank player on Nimbani. A lot of fun stuff happens in it. It's a really good time. Um, you know, some really funny moments. We're able to teach some things. Uh, it's a really, really, really fun video. Remember, if you like the video, hit the like button. Sub to the channel if you haven't. And I hope you all have an amazing day. Oh. Right, I just skip ahead on that part. Okay. Pause for a second. Look at team comps. This is a gold off tank. Okay, this is gold. So we have Ryan Zarya, Mercy, Bap, Farah, Soldier. It's actually not a bad call. Ryan Sigma, Mercy, Farah, Widow, Anna. So I think these comps are pretty good. I'd say, I'd say the comps are pretty good. No, so far, pretty good bubble management. I don't really, I really don't have much to... So far, pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good start. Took high ground control, bubbled Ryan efficiently there. Bubble Ryan now. Good. Right clicking across the map. So far, definitely can't can't say that was too bad. That was that was good. It's tough to say anything there. I think position like position wise could have stayed with the Rhine, but I can see why. I had no bubble for the right side, so. Definitely aggressive. That's a big slam. Pretty good tracking, too. It wasn't that bad. That, that was pretty good right there. But it's hard to say. So one of the things about Overwatch is that when, when teams are just absolutely rolling through immediately, sometimes you'll like you can you'll, you'll play insane because like you don't have to worry about anything it's basically like you're in the training range at that point right because like there's just no one shooting at you you're just doing whatever right so initially on these fights you know it can feel like you're just kind of you know just able to do whatever so so far their team's rolling but they haven't had to like do anything like anything it's just been pretty good play but this is a 20, this is a 20 minute Nambani, which means that something happens in this game where both teams roll. Uh, second of all, somebody says, looks like my Zarya. Okay, first of all, they've only jumped like one time the whole game, okay? At this point, you know I would have jumped at least 20 times, okay? So. How the hell do they get that grab off? When you know Ryan has shatter, by the way, be ready to use the bubble immediately. Um, when I, that's the one thing I'll say there is that you, at that point, you pretty much knew the Ryan had shatter based off of how far in the map you are. Just kind of play your bubbles around that a little bit more. Um, I can't believe you even got the grab off there, but uh, remember that like always have it like in the back of your mind when you're playing against Ryan who has shatter to save that bubble. And then just the moment you hear the voice line, immediately bubble and you'll never get shattered there uh factual thank you for that 50 months with the tier one i appreciate it. thank you very kind appreciate it thank you you said they rolled they did but i'm gonna be honest with you i'm pretty sure they get rolled back i am i am i am positive that this was gonna happen i think they're also gonna get rolled because this is a 20 minute vibe that was four minutes what happens in this game okay look at the initial position position in here not bad. Going for some right clicks here is fine. Get a little bit left click on the D.Va. So far, it's been pretty good. Good bubble. Back away now. Good. So far, you have the right idea on when you want to back away for the most part. Pretty good play. Remember they're running Mercy Zen? You actually get a little bit more value. You can't over peek as much, but you get a lot more value. Don't over peek them though, because you get rolled. They're running the Zen. But yeah, uh, against Mercy Zen, Mercy Zen can be a very good comp, but... 
um, with the way they're playing there, definitely be a little bit more aggressive. The other team actually made a really good reaction. They actually went the other way, which is definitely the play with that healing call. So, stay high ground for now. Mm -hmm. You're here behind you. Below you. Okay. Don't bubble right away there. So they can't see you from main for the most part, and the soldier wasn't looking at you. When you bubble that early, what ends up happening is that you get no energy and you won't be able to use your bubble aggressively. So let me show you. When you drop down here and you bubble, watch, you bubble. Soldier hasn't looked at you yet, right? Soldier... <laughs> Soldier hasn't looked at you yet, right? So at this point with your Zarya bubble, right? With your Zarya bubble, you're not gonna get any energy. Now you go, well, that's fine because they get they get up to nice. Nice. You get energy, but when you want to 1v1 the soldier now and they come for you, you don't have that bubble to save you. So if you had that bubble now, you probably can kill Mercy easily there, which actually you didn't even see that Mercy was uh one HP. You're able to get kills there, but now instead they're going to get you. So don't use your bubble like that unless you really need to. If Soldier starts looking at you, you can use your bubble. You'll probably kill Soldier, be at 90 energy, and get two kills. So that's like one of those things where be smart with your bubble Sounds usage like there. Like when you drop down, you don't need to use it initial initially. So. Yeah. This is gold. This is gold. So far, been pretty good, though. But that's definitely one thing you want to you change in that situation. Once again, I'm loving the use of right clicks. I always, I always mention to people when you're mention to people when you're playing Zarya, get really good with your right clicks because when you can't do anything on Zarya, if you have decent right clicks, you can build out charge a lot quicker and get a little bit more value. So far, your positioning, by the way, is in the middle of the open. Be careful of that. Good grab, though. Good grab. Also, in the grab there. In the grab there. Try not to go for the Winston. Go for like the. One second. Ready for in this grab, good grab. But if you look at the grab, there's a mercy right here and a soldier that you can maybe right click. You're better off right clicking into the grab, even though the, even though the Winston's low, even though the Winston's low, the Winston can still survive. And then basically what happens is you don't get as much value. But you can definitely kill the mercy there, and you can probably go for the soldier too. So just remember in the grab, like go for the targets you can easily get if you're gonna left click them. I left click grabs grabs all the time. That's because the healing can be so good a lot of the time that I will go for like targets I can I know I can kill even through good healing. Um, because, like, you'll get more value out of that. Uh, so that's a situation where I think the Winston even gets out and then survives, and it looks like they keep the numbers, and they're able to get you low with the with the play there. So, yeah. All right, let's keep watching. Good bubble on Ryan. Good bubble. Good job dying on card here. Whether or not you win this fight, dying on card is definitely the play. Just stay on the card. Good job. Very good job. Good right clicks. Ooh, wait, how did that not hit? Huh? No, don't. As a team, you want to die on the card. If you give them even any space in the truck there, it's going to be uh, tough on the retake. All right, well, remember that. Just play, play forward there. You don't need to disengage. If you're going to disengage, disengage past the bus. 100%. Just like in training. 100%. I don't even know if they're going to be able to re-engage here. <laughs> Going for high ground, I like it. Yeah, see? That's, how, that's why I was telling them to die at, the, die at the, like, the corner there rather than like... They can't... You can't retake that if you die there. The cart will be like too far. You'd have to time. I mean, you can in theory retake it, but you won't be able to like if you don't communicate it well. It's really tough. So I'm getting away. Rocket barrage incoming. That's just positioning right there. If you want to go anywhere, go back to the high ground a little bit or like play at an angle so they can help the team. 
I know. I'm trying to help him a little bit. I saw the oh, bubble usage God. there. I'm trying. I know. I know. I mean, what, what can we do about that? I agree. I'll I'll try to I'll try to let them know. Okay. You want the chair? You go. Go ahead. How's it going, buddy? How's it going? Good boy. Good boy. What's going on? You just chilling for now? Hello. Oh, I got you. Don't worry. I got you. Don't worry. You're good. Uh, Lily, thanks for the 100 bits. Appreciate it. Oh, I got Sully. you. I got you. Good boy. Good boy. All right. We'll continue on with some of the VOD review here. Thank you, uh, Faulty, for the 100 bits. Too. Appreciate it. My Oh, sorry for the decent position in there. I like the play. So right there, recognizing the Zen's out of position was a good play. I like that. Now your team's getting rolled in the back line somehow, but I do like you going for the Zen there. They might be able to res the Zen over the Diva. Good, good play. I would back away a little bit now. It's a big slam right there. Uh oh. Okay. Good play. Good right click. The right clicks, good play. Good play. Not bad at all. So far, though, at one point, this other team caps 100%. position over here I would position over here instead of over there just so you know I think I think here is an, is is it, it it seems good at first but if you're not going to rotate up before they do damage to you up here then you're better off just being at this angle and playing this like side of the wall I think that would be way better honestly I I think I think that in my opinion would be way better I mean we have, we have a, a command I think for where to um we have a command uh where to submit for the VOD reviews I would say Play this angle a little bit more to the point where if your team dies, you can push into the cart to die on the cart. And if you're going to be here, just rotate up and kind of be annoying in the back line. I think if you stay right here and like kind of don't do anything there, they're going to roll you. And that's kind of what happened. So just remember that with your position in there. So far, the two things I've seen has been a little bit of the bubble usage at times and then the position in your app, which position is very key. It's like the reason why my wrist is bad because my position is like not that good Give right now. Like I, I, my position will be good and then I'll tend to like kind of end up in the middle of like the map and then I just get rolled, which is why I'm working on that my, with a uh, work on that too. What's up, Sorcerer? How's it going? I'm even All right, here we go. So just standing there. Oh, okay. I was like, what? Uh. Oh yeah, my Ryan's really good. I mean, I, people, people can submit anything right now. I just can't, like... I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Chat, there is still like gonna be 10 minutes left on the clock. What happens in this game? Do they just end up full holding right here and then it takes them five minutes to cap first or something? So they have high ground control up here. Okay, I'm just trying to see where everybody's at. Okay. I feel like their Winston's just gonna ult on them, right? Okay, good job getting out here. Oh, 
Okay, so they lose the point because there's a DC, which is unlucky. But that was amazing. Nobody saw the mercy. No one's gonna stop me. I can't believe nobody saw the mercy. Said, how long did he hold the grab for? Okay, so I hear this from time to time. Honestly, I don't think there's a situation where it's it's about holding the grab. Like you can have your grab the whole half. The thing is, is that like. I think, I think, honestly, they might still hold that if they don't have a DC for a second, which they do have a DC for a while, it looks like. Okay, they, they come back now, right? Just in time. So, like, sometimes when it comes to, like, holding grav, it just... It, sometimes there just isn't really a good grav spot, right? Sometimes there is. Sometimes you miss a good grav, but sometimes holding on to the grav, the other team thinks you have grav the whole time. It's like, for example, I'm not the best Reinhardt, but if I have Shatter, the other Reinhardt has to hold their shield up. Right? And my Rhine is so not that good, right? That I hold my shield up too, which means that they're playing into my play style at that point because I'm holding my shield up and doing nothing, which means that they have to hold their shield up and do nothing too when I have Shatter. So sometimes holding on to an ultimate is okay. It just depends on where the team fights are happening in the situation. I didn't really see an opportunity for him to get a good grab there. Um, and then obviously when they used the grab, it was a 5v6 and they're trying to just make a play at that point. So. They were rolling up until that point, so the, the grab wasn't really needed. At least in my opinion. If I review Attack support VODs or just tanks? I mean, I just went with two tank VODs to start because I haven't done VOD reviews in a while. Let's move out. Attackers incoming. Defend objective A. Defend <laughs> This is gonna, so, one thing here, by the way. One thing, by the way, here. Uh, happy birthday, Hyper. Hope you have an awesome birthday. Can we get a Fields birthday man in the chat? Right there, believe it or not, you can use a little bit of DM to keep that Torp turret alive and then also DMAC the Diva. Um... So just remember that. Uh, sometimes that people are going to go, what do you mean it's just a Torb Tart? Torb Tart's really good and keeping Torb Tart alive there at least a little bit longer. You can still demec the D.Va and then the Torb Tart will probably roll a little bit more. I know that like that's like kind of a small thing I saw there, but you can still, you're still going to be able to demec the D.Va. Uh, happy birthday, Somju. Hope you have an awesome one. Can we get a Fields Birthday Man in the chat for Somju also? Have an awesome birthday. Hope, it, hope, it, hope it's a great one. Time to raise my hand. I hope you both have an awesome, awesome birthday. I understand that play. Just remember that D.Va's remech now can uh, do damage, which I think you might get demeched here because of that. Well, maybe not, but uh, just remember that that happens. It was a decent play, but remember, whenever I go for a baby D.Va now, I try to play a little bit more distance-wise so the mech doesn't get me. So. Heck yeah, hope it's awesome. Hope it's awesome. You both have... The best birthday. Okay, so as we saw, I ended up getting the mech. What the heck? Oh, because it was the, it was the last fight. I was so confused. Together, we are strong. Chat, there is five minutes and twenty-eight seconds left, and this vod goes to twenty-two minutes. No, there's no way they probably win in the last team fight. Okay, here we go. Oh, no. 
Oh no. Double shield bastion. Oh no. And they are committed to this comp. Sigma doesn't even Sigma does, is like, you know what? I don't even need a shield. Look at Sigma. Sigma's like, I don't even need a shield. Uh-oh. What is... Oh, I, I get it. I guess they're just spamming the back hall in case they come that way. Okay. Oh, yeah, because of Sombra. I like it because of Sombra. You're right. I didn't even realize they had Sombra on their team. You know what? That's a good play. I like that play. That is a good play. I didn't even recognize that. Good play. Just remember that that spot looks like it can be really good, but where they're set up, it's not that good. I would recommend one of the two things you can do is because they're not running the boop comp, you can go left side all the way around, or you can go underneath and have a little bit more value there. And I would probably switch off of Zarya. In fact, I would definitely switch off of Zarya. The amount of value you're going to get on Zarya where they're playing at is going to be very little. See, what, see what's happening right now? That's what's going to happen if you stay on Zarya. I would recommend them. The, this is... You know how when everybody in the chat types exclamation point diva? This would be a moment where everybody in the chat types exclamation point diva. You want to know why? Because I would switch to diva. In fact, we're going to see a diva switch in five seconds here on spawn. Three, two. I was close, but there you go. Good call. Good call. My tactical visor is. Would be no value what you could get on Zarya right there. And perfect. Even though they might get rolled, here's what's going to happen, chap. Here's my prediction. Now, this is not, I'm not predicting this because I saw that there's a lot more time on the VOD. I actually am because of that. So basically, what's going to probably happen, and I could be wrong, is that on this rotate, there's going to be the one person on the team who decides not to stick with the team and then keeps getting rolled and then it becomes an endless 5v6. Or they all go together and there's so many ultimates on the other team at that point that they can't do anything about it until the last team fight. So let's see. They're Ryan standing in the middle here, by the way. We'll get the shield broken every time. If they're going to even try to go this way, they need to hug the corner. Wait to shield as long as possible, then go underneath and cross at that point. But they don't have speed boost either, so it can be a really tough cross. It can be extremely tough. So. Thank you. Smart play, by the way. Their Sombra's going to point to make them go off the high ground, which I do like that play. Little bit of a tip on the, um, little bit of advice on, on Bastionel. When they first go into their ultimate, they really won't get a shot off. Wait until you see them shoot and DM at the same time. You'll, like, save a second of DM and probably be able to DM one more shot. Um, just so you know. A lot of the time you'll be able to DM an extra shot if you, instead of just DMing right away when they go into ult form. Wait till the first shot and react to it. So... I, honestly, they had a bunch of ults. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. That fight, there's some things you could have done, like maybe like go back to high ground and survive. But they also had ultimates, cause, which could be really tough. So that's one of those things where they just they had a ton of ults. Wouldn't Bastion have been better staying up there? I mean, in theory, yes. But Bastion can also get back up there during their ultimate by um. So you can rocket jump as Bastion. So in theory, they could go back up there if they rocket jump back up. But for them, it's about winning the team fight too, and they won the team fight, and they can reset back up. I don't know if going top left is going to be the play, but once again, they do have EMP coming up, so maybe there's a chance that this works. Time to raise my 
I would back away. Just a little bit here. Oh, I would back away. Yeah. The moment you're, you're in that hallway and nothing happens on the other side, remember, you don't have like... There's not like a Wrecking Ball or a Winston on your team who are going to engage from the other side. Nobody on your team can actually engage from the other side. So when that when you stay there, that's what's going to happen. You're going to get rolled. So remember that when you're playing against that bunker comp up there, too. You can go in the back hall, but you want to kind of be there as a distraction, not just stay there. So do some damage and then just fly away. I guarantee you they'll still turn around. That gives your teammates more value than you having to go back to spawn. Um, just, just, just that's what's going to happen most of the time. Now, obviously they valve because of a really good nade, but I don't see them losing the fight at that point. I, I just don't see them losing the fight. I now see a Reinhardt flanking behind. I don't know what's going to happen there, but it looks like they lose. So. This is gold. This is gold. Okay, so basically it's gonna come down to one play. At this point, there's only, only play that's gonna work for them is to build up all their ultimates. Now the ultimates they have that are huge here are EMP Diva Bomb, as well as Hanzo Wall. You go, well, why Hanzo Wall? Because Hanzo Wall could actually ult before they use that combo and they just win the fight. And they'll just win the fight in general. So that, that's what will happen. Wow. I wouldn't doubt it if Hanzo gets a lot of value. I don't know if Reinhardt will even be able to get a Shatter off unless they all fall. Uh, that's just, once again, right there, just work on your flight control. You can use the flow technique, too. Okay, so, Diva has Bomb. If there's one combo they can do, it's the Diva Bomb combo. Get ready. Here it comes. Don't get D-Mech. You don't, you don't get any value. play but watch what happens watch watch so here they go somber goes in for the play watch they go to use the translocator up there unlucky obviously it's super unlucky we've all had we've all had that happen in overwatch but that's what happened so like they had the right idea it just was unlucky we, honestly i'm oh, i'm sure we've all had a play like that before right we've all had a play like that before that is crazy i was wondering because they actually had the correct play that would have probably won the game well it was just super unlucky just super unlucky And they still almost turn this fight around. In fact, does this Arissa not die? Uh, Champagne, thanks for the 12 months of the tier one. I appreciate wow, it. Wow, almost a year. Wow. You're right. 12 months is almost a year. Thank you. I appreciate that. Does this Arissa not die? Okay, they die. Uh, Airhead, thank you for the 14 months of the tier one. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's a close team fight. I think they're going to lose this fight, though. I would just get some damage here and then start running running towards the map so you can reset. I just played a reset here. I don't think they're going to win this. Maybe they do? I don't think so. Just keep, keep backing away. Keep backing away. Just reset. Yeah, good job. Wait, they got Diva Bomb again. I'm gonna be honest. There was a diva bomb time in there that could have worked. Whenever there's soldier ults in the middle of the point and you see Sigma on high ground, it means they won't be able to get a high value shield. When you see an opportunity where Sigma doesn't have a good shield opportunity to save their teammates and you hear them middle, uh, that might be a good diva bomb opportunity. I don't know if it would have gone anybody, but it might have been. That's the timing you can get when Sigma uses their shield. That could be really good. Huh? I got somebody? 
Alright, good ult, good ult! And this is the fight they went on. This is it. So they do win the game. They do win the game. Wow. And that's why it was a 22 minute Nimani. Victory. Uh, chat, can we show some love in the chat for Grex with the five gifted? Can we get some hearts and smiles or some love in the chat? Thank you for the five gifted subs. Show some love. Thank you. Very kind. I appreciate it. So, what we do at the every, uh, end of every VOD review is we try to summarize some things we can work on. One, when you're playing Zarya, pay attention to your bubble cooldowns a little bit more. I did see some really good secondary bubbles, but your personal bubbles were used a little bit, I guess, too frequently in the sense that you weren't really thinking about... Like, like, like for example, when you went against that soldier and you just bubbled right away, you can save your bubbles a little bit longer and also work on, like, your positioning in general. So... Try not to gravitate towards the middle of, like, a team fight when you can play corners. I would recommend that. On D.Va, flight control. Definitely need to work on the flight control a little bit. I would also recommend with your DM usage to... You, you should have to DM immediately when you see damage. Remember that a lot of the time as D.Va, it's really important to DM the burst damage rather than just, like, the random damage. So, for example, if, like, Soldier shoot, shoots two shots and kills somebody on your team, that's not necessarily on you. But if you eat half of the shoulder so, soldier shots and that's going to be a good dm usage but if you're only doing it for two shots you're not going to have dm when they actually need to use the ultimate so i would say that's probably the best thing you can Lunch do time equals uh, sub time i would say that's probably the best time you can do that <laughs>